Hi guys! Today we discuss about 5 benefits of sprinting for health. Before we start, like and subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Improves Cardiovascular Health Sprinting is the quintessential high-intensity interval training tool, HIIT. It's high intensity, and you can do it in intervals, sprinting for a short period then resting between sprints. Research in the Journal of Sports Science Medicine suggests that HIIT training has many advantages for cardiovascular fitness over traditional steady-state training, such as jogging for 5 miles. Researchers found that, compared to controls, students who engaged in HIIT training saw significant improvements in their VO2 max, a measure of oxygen use, and peak power output, two important markers for cardiovascular fitness. Unfortunately, HIIT training was much less enjoyable for the majority of people enrolled in the study than the less extreme exercise. It is much harder work for sure, but turning this activity into a game such as a game of chase or a version of tag would undoubtedly enhance the enjoyment factor. Sprinting even has its own category of HI, IT called including attaining a lower resting heart rate. It's no secret that sprinting like other forms of exercise is great for your heart. Regular sprints lower your risk of heart disease, improve your blood cholesterol levels, and help control and prevent high blood pressure. Staves off aging. Humans have several different types of muscles in their bodies, including so-called fast and slow twitch fibers. Fast twitch muscle, type 2 uh, and type 2 bits fibers that help you move powerfully. Fatigue far more quickly than slow twitch muscle, type I fibers used for posture and endurance. Sprinting, as you might expect, trains fast twitch fibers while movement patterns like standing, walking, and jogging activates slower acting muscle cells. Sprinting is an excellent exercise for those who want to build speed and power. The more you train the fast twitch muscle fibers in your legs, the faster you'll be able to run and the higher you'll jump. The skeleton also gets stronger too. Sprinting is classified as weight bearing exercise and thus the bones can get stronger from sprinting. Getting your sprints in can help ward off osteoporosis and protect your balance and coordination. Reduces stress. Like other forms of exercise, sprint training can combat stress. It releases feel-good endorphins into the brain, helping sprinters cope with the rigors of training and come out on the other side feeling good, ready to do it all over again. Sprinting calms your body and your brain. In the short term, the physical stress of the sprint helps you to focus on the task at hand. After your body works hard through sprinting, the levels of stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol, drop, stress and anxiety fade away. You can do it anywhere. The great thing about sprinting is that it can be done anywhere. You don't need special equipment or training gear. You don't need a gym membership. You can sprint at home. Even with limited space, you can sprint on the spot. Improves your metabolism. Even after the sprint is over, sprinting burns more calories per unit of time than jogging but the average person can only sustain a sprint for 30 seconds at most. After that, the body depletes its anaerobic stores and must rely on aerobic sources of energy, which can't sustain the same high levels of effort. In the past, the thinking was that sprinting couldn't burn as many calories as long-duration physical activity. But researchers have found that sprinting increases the rate of energy burn long after a person finish exercising. Sprinting isn't just about the calories your body burns during exercise, but also those that it uses to recover afterwards. One measure for this phenomenon is EPOC, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, otherwise known as the afterburn effect or oxygen debt. Heavy resistance training and HII2 workouts appear to be superior to steady state running or lower intensity training in creating EPOC. From an evolutionary point of view, it wasn't an advantage to dedicate vast energy resources to building muscle. It was much better to keep muscles as small as possible to lower energy requirements. The process of modifying muscle fibers into fast twitch is energy intensive, meaning that the body resists building them if it thinks it can get away with it. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. In the end, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
turn on the notification so you don't miss any more videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon.